Are you a Power BI power user? I have a question for you. How many flavors does Power BI desktop have? The quick answer is it depends. We have two different editions for two different use cases. One is Power BI desktop and the other one is Power BI desktop report server, which is optimized for a local report server that is installed on your local network. Now I have another question. How many flavors does the Power BI desktop, the regular version have? Some of you may have already know that there are two different methods to deliver Power BI desktop to us, the users of Power BI desktop. The first one is via Microsoft Store. And the second one is downloading Power BI desktop from Microsoft website. There are some cases that you would like to have both flavors side by side for at least two very important reasons. To test the features. And the second one is to always have a plan B. If the latest version that I'm installing on my machine has some bugs and issues, I have another version to rely on. Actually, there is a third use case here. Say you have two corporate accounts and you are working on Power BI Desktop for two corporates, you can log in to Power BI Desktop in store version with one corporate account and you can log in to the download version of Power BI Desktop with another corporate account. But here is the issue. Whatever version that you use, they come with the same icon. I have two Power BI Desktops side by side, which is which? And that's the question. Hello, I'm Sohail Bakhshi, a Microsoft Data Platform MVP with a very warm welcome from BIInsight.com. As I explained in my pretty lengthy introduction, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to distinguish between the store version of Power BI Desktop and the download version of Power BI Desktop. Right off the bat, it has nothing to do with Power BI Desktop itself. There is actually a setting that I'm going to configure in Windows 11. If you are using Windows 10, it should work on Windows 10 too, but I haven't tested this on Windows 10. So long story short, we are going to change the icon of Power BI Desktop for one of these versions on a Windows 11. Let's get to it. First things first, we need to identify which Power BI desktop is the store version and which one is the download version. By right clicking on the icon on the start menu, if you have pinned the Power BI desktop into the start menu, you can identify it. If it has an app setting, it means that it is the store app, otherwise it is the download version. Now we need to have an icon that suits Power BI Desktop. To do so, I use my favorite search engine to search for Power BI icon GitHub. I scroll down and I find Microsoft GitHub repository for Power BI. By scrolling down, I can find Power BI Desktop icons, which is a little bit different from the original Power BI Desktop icon that comes with the tool. I right click on this one, which is the PNG version, and I open it in a new tab. I navigate to the new tab, right click on the image and click save image as, give it a name and I save it in a desired location. The next step is to convert PNG to ICO, which is icon file. To do so, I use GIMP, which is a free and an open source tool. I have no affiliation with GIMP, but I use it because it is pretty intuitive and it gets the job done. You can use any other online or any other kind of tools to convert PNG into ICO. So now let's open GIMP and I click on the file menu. And from there, click on open to open my PNG file. I click on Power BI Desktop icon PNG and click open. And from there, I just click on file menu again and export as change the extension of the file from PNG to ICO. Click export, click export again. And there you go. I have my icon file ready. I now just close GIMP. Let's ensure that the ICO file is actually generated. I open my file explorer 
to see if the ICO file is created. There you go. Yes, I have PNG and ICO file both available. I can click on the view and then click show in file extension to show the file extension to ensure that the ICO file is generated. So I just kept this window open for my reference. Now I click on the start menu and right click on Power BI Desktop and click open file location. This navigates us to the shortcut of Power BI Desktop. Right click on the shortcut and click properties. Now we can change icon by clicking on the change icon. Then click browse. We now need to drag the icon of Power BI Desktop that we generated before and drop it in this folder and then click continue and then click open, click OK, and click apply. This is a permission warning that we need to click continue and then click OK. As you can see, the Power BI desktop icon has changed for the download version. And the other one is the store version, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's reverse the process and use the original icon for Power BI desktop download version so that when we change the icon of the store version, we don't get confused. Right click on the Power BI shortcut, click properties, change icon. Here we get rid of the previous icon name and let's expand our options and click icon Power BI, which is the original icon. Click OK and apply and continue and click OK. Let's check the start menu to see if the icon is reverted back to original. So let's continue. Okay, now let's have a look at Power BI desktop store app. The process to change the icon here is a little bit different. So let's search for Power BI and find the app and I just need to open the app. The next step is to look at task manager. So I right click on my taskbar and open up task manager and I need to expand the process of Power BI desktop. Select Power BI desktop and right click and then click open location. After opening the location of the file, we are going to create a shortcut by right clicking, dragging and dropping the exif file into our desktop to create a shortcut. Let's rename the shortcut to Power BI Desktop. Now I go to the shortcut properties and then click change icon and browse and select the icon, click open, click OK apply and OK. I right click on the shortcut with the new icon and select pin to start. Now let's open the start menu and as you can see scrolling down yeah Power BI desktop with the new icon appears on the start menu. Okay in this video we have learned how to change the icon of Power BI desktop either the store version or the download version. So if you're like me and you need to have both Power BI desktops side by side you have the option to pin both of Power BI desktops into your taskbar or uh, into your start menu and you can quickly identify which is which. As you can see I have both Power BI desktop side by side but with different icon I know which one is Power BI desktop download version and which one is the store version. I hope you find this video helpful and you have learned something new in this video. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and see you in the next one.